I'm working on the clapper box and the clapper. And it was of course a little bit scary drilling. Speaking of fiddly parts, this is starting to get small. I think my little clapper starts to look like something. Of course I left this part on way too long. If I cut it off now it will be way too difficult to hold it in place to drill the hole. Because I have to drill the hole that takes the tool holder and in here is a recess that takes this rim 3.1 something millimeter now the fun is my center drill is also 3. Point something millimeter so let's do this It even made a very tiny little chamfer. That's a double wing. But I don't have the good tools to make this flat thing here. So I'm gonna use a 4mm drill. Now this is way too big, but just to show that I'm gonna have a 118 degree uh, angle in here. So when I'm gonna make this part in the lathe, I'm not going to make this recess in a shoulder, but also 118 degrees. Well, that's 18 the theory, of course. Let's do some more scary drilling. I think that should do. Wondering what drill bit I used to drill the hole here in the tool holder. Well, I do too. So let's check it out. 1.5 millimeter. Now I took this one because I never liked this drill. So I can cut a little piece off 
and use it as a cutting tool. Working on one of the handles. And this is the tapered part. It's a bit scary, but let's do. I had to install extra light here to see a bit better what I'm doing because it is really tiny. It doesn't work, the drill bit is uh, walking around. Right, I'm gonna find a solution and bring you back. Installing a one millimeter drill bit with almost no access here. I can put my fingers here. Easy! This is the part I just drilled and here the hole is perfectly in the ball, no problem. And the other one, the drill bit, I suppose moved a bit because it's a little bit off. But I think I can recover it. So I'm gonna cut it off and make this little handle that comes here. That's nice. I'm turning down this little bolt here to make the lead screw. Yes, that was the plan. Now I'm working on this little crank handle. Here it is. Cute. All that's left to do now is make a ring that could look like this dial here. Maybe a good idea now to first cut off this bolt and make this uh, radius here below. The clapper starts to look like something, so no problem on this side. And of course, I made also some bozo handles. I made two others and they fell somewhere in the ship pan or on the floor never to be seen again. To make these little balls here on the handles I made a forming tool. Now it's a bit hard to see I think on camera but I suppose you get the idea. I'm gonna leave them as is because the final assembly will be done if this part is painted, of course. To make these very small parts in the lathe, first I used this little drill check because the two millimeter and smaller parts doesn't fit here in the jaws of the check. So I installed this one here. But there was a bit a lack of rigidity 
I don't know why, but this thing always moved on me. And one time it broke my uh, slotting tool, my parting off tool. So I decided to make another one. <clears throat> this taper goes directly in the spindle. It's a thing I made a few months ago. But the shank on this side was way too long. So I installed it in the spindle to make it. And with my parting tool I wanted to cut a piece off. And this is where the insert exploded. Twice. So my parting tool has some serious uh, damage, which is a bit a pity because it was a brand new one, but we'll see if I can recover it. Now, finally, I could make this one, which is handy because I don't need the little key as on the, the other one, so this one is much better. And here's the finished product. And this is where ends this series. I hope you had a good time watching it as much as I had a good time making it. And maybe you ask yourself and about these little drills and taps. Here they are. I broke one little one and a half millimeter drill bit in the chuck. Don't know how it happened, but broke. And I broke a few times my parting tool. That's all. So indeed, it is possible to make a little shaper using the shaper.